So dear CIF colleagues, friends, COP15 in Montreal is so important because science is clear. We're so deep into the Anthropocene, the new geological epoch, where we, the modern world, are not only the dominating force of change on Earth, we're also approaching tipping points and are at risk of irreversibly undermining life support systems that enable humans and all species to thrive on Earth. The first victims of nature's contributions to people are already now on the line. Tropical coral reef systems, home and livelihoods to hundreds of millions of people across the world, are at threat. Tropical forest systems, terrestrial Earth's richest biomes, close to irreversible regime shifts, drying out of and ultimately the risk of collapsing. Ice sheets melting so fast that freshwater supply is threatened and sea level rise pushing coastal communities inland. We can now say with high degree of scientific certainty that sustainability, with net zero pathways for both climate and nature, is necessary to have a chance of attaining the Sustainable Development Goals. If it were not for nature, we would already have breached the Paris climate limit of 1.5 degrees Celsius, and as global temperatures continue to rise, the larger is the impact on nature, which in turn leads to continued loss of human life support for food, water, air, and livable environments. Species of plants and animals are already moving higher to higher ground and to colder ground. People move as well when social resilience is lost. So the question is, is there a safe, just landing for humanity on Earth? The window is rapidly closing, but most science shows that there are feasible pathways still available. But we need to urgently and collectively act on the global scale. Three immediate steps are on the table. Number one, adopt science-based targets for all planetary boundaries. These safe and just Earth system boundaries are now advanced by the Earth Commission and operationalized for businesses, for cities, for nations by the Science-Based Target Network. Adopt them and internalize them. Two, scale nature-based solutions for health of people and planet, but ensure that they are scientifically robust and that they are additional to mitigation. All cities, businesses, countries must follow the carbon law for fossil fuel phase-out, but also the carbon law for nature, of turning managed nature, agricultural landscapes, from source to sink. And three, put a price on carbon and value natural capital. Rapidly phase out all subsidies to fossil fuels, one trillion US dollars per year in direct subsidies today, four trillion dollars in indirect subsidies. This is just proof that there is no lack of finance for a sustainable transformation of nature-based solutions that we all benefit from if we are truly putting value not only on human and financial capital, but also natural capital. Thank you.